thanks for tuning into my video. So this is my Dollar Tree haul for my upcoming cruise. This is actually my first cruise. I'm very excited. Um, we're going to a four night cruise to the Bahamas and we're doing it through the Carnival Cruise Line. So I'll kind of make a series of videos just kind of highlighting, you know, our trip, what we are, the experience that we had, um, and hopefully those tips will help you guys because I definitely know that through watching YouTube videos and things like that, I've kind of come to find my own tips and tricks and things like that for maximizing the fun out of this cruise. So everything that you see here, I got from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> I'm going to go through briefly, just kind of show you what I got, what I'm going to use it for. I've taken inspiration from a lot of different cruisers who have um, vlogged about their what they pack, um, sort of unique things that they pack. So I'll definitely be highlighting all of those. So we'll just jump right into it. Um, I'll kind of, I don't know how you even know how to tackle this. <laughs> um, all right, I'll start with what's off camera. So one cruiser suggested that when you have an interior stateroom to bring some sort of lighting source um, because at night the stateroom can get really dark being that it doesn't have windows so um, and especially us we have a three-year-old daughter so we want to be able to like navigate the room if she needs to go to the bathroom or if we need to go to the bathroom and so it's not pitch black so she doesn't get scared so they recommended like tea lights as you see here I just got this two pack. Actually, I got a lot of lights. Um, I got this two pack of just regular tea lights. It says it should last for 120 hours. Um, so we'll see. I'll obviously be shutting them off during the day so I can conserve how much time, you know, uh, or how much battery I waste, I should say. These are just regular candle ones with the flickering effect. And I also bought, excuse me, I also bought this um, candle holder too. It's really pretty. A dollar can you believe that um, I bought this just so I can put it in have something to put it in um, I also got these really pretty rose ones same thing I believe it's oh no color changing effect oh goodness sorry I'm gonna open this because that's really cool <laughs> just so you guys can see on camera I didn't even realize these were color changing I thought they were just regular tea lights all right let's see oh that is so cool that is really neat. I'm very impressed. So I have two of those and they have like this, it's a really soft, like almost like a felt material. Very cool. Those will be neat for nighttime, you know, for entertaining ourselves because we won't have anyone else to entertain. Um, so the other lights I got were LED ones. These ones are 120 hours total. So they're 60 hours each. Um, I, I wanted to see the difference between the LED lights and the regular candle lights. And then I also, because it's summertime and they, or not summertime, because it's springtime and they have the summer items out, I got this paper lantern as well, um, light up paper lantern. It has like a little tiki face as you see there. So I'm curious to see how that one will work. It's got a hook there. Um, to hang it up from the wall from the ceiling um but as you may or may not know you know they don't like you adhering things pretty much the only things you can use is command strips so i'll try and see how to figure out how to hang this up and then i'll definitely show a video of me hanging it up the other thing that i got for lighting is a flashlight um i got this just for you know, because it was a dollar, honestly. <laughs> Let's be real here. I'm just kind of like stocking up. Even if I have more than what I need, that's fine. I'll definitely learn from this experience. But I, yeah, I got this light, um, this flashlight. It's a telescoping flashlight. I don't know what that means, but it seems to be it's pretty strong. It includes batteries. Um, so hopefully, I, oh, it's like the round ones, like the, um, the hearing aid ones. So... If I need to replace them I know I can <clears throat> so that's pretty much it as far as lighting goes um so as I mentioned before uh that you can use command strips I got this foam mounting tape I found it in like the home improvement section of Dollar Tree it's pre-cut um 
They're pretty thick, as you can see, probably see. I'm gonna use these to hang up things in our estate room, which I'll show you momentarily. Um, so hopefully this will be allowed. If not, I will definitely let you guys know that it wasn't allowed. Yeah, I'll sort of do a follow-up video of um, the things that I was able to use, things that I wasn't able to use, and things of that nature. Um, I also got this for our estate room. Or I keep saying estate. It's state. <laughs> for our state room door, just so we can um, easily identify it. I'm probably going to put this up again with the, those uh, command strip type things. Dollar Tree brand. Um, but it's really pretty again because it's summer or uh, not because it's summer because it, it's spring and they have summer items I got this little cute little decor. It says relax. I like it. It's definitely gonna bring a fun theme to our Stateroom um, So I'll show you also my Toothbrushes and toothpaste that I got so this is for my husband and I um, and I got us cases so we can put them in as well um, I was going to bring my own toothbrush just to kind of save on money, but honestly, this was two for a dollar. So I said, you know what, why not? That way, I don't have to worry about losing my toothbrush. Not that it was too much money, but we have the electric one. So those can cost, you know, upwards of 10 bucks. So I didn't really want to bring them. Um, but if, you know, you're definitely looking to save money where you can, those, those are some things you can do is just bring your home toothbrushes. I also got this Crest 3D White. It's a 2.5 ounce, so it's not huge. Um, and then for my daughter, I got this uh, pack that has a toothbrush and it has also has the kid's toothpaste. So that way I didn't have to buy her a separate tube. And then we'll always reuse those for other vacations and things like that. So I got <clears throat> a two pack of sponges for a dollar. What a bargain. Um, just so, you know, if we're renting out cups and things in our stateroom, we can wash them and not have to bring them wherever to be washed. Um, I did buy the soap, which I think fell in my car somewhere. So unfortunately I can't show you, but it's just a small little Dawn soap. Um, and if I can't find it for some reason, I also have these travel bottles that I am gonna use for our toiletries like um, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, but I can also use one of these for it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you those right now. So it's a three pack for a dollar and it's got um, <clears throat> just three uh, shampoo style. So you press here and it opens. Um, and they had a three pack of these and then they also had one that had two of these and one spray bottle, but I didn't need them. So I just got a couple of those. I also got rain ponchos. I got the last three that were left. So I was very stoked about that. Um, just in case it rains, you know, we're out up and about and it starts to rain. I'll also carry my umbrella with me, but you know, this will also be useful as well. <clears throat> as far as um, cleaning the stateroom goes, because obviously, you know, just like if, even if you stay in a hotel, they're not going to clean every single surface in the room. So I, pack, I bought Lysol wipes. And I also bought Clorox wipes. They're just two different scents. I'm not too keen on lemon scent. So, but these each of these packs were a dollar. And that way we can just kind of wipe down things like handles and um, other surfaces that they might not clean. Um, oh, actually, I'll show you this. I also got a mesh laundry bag. So that way we can put our um, dirty clothes and we can have somewhere to isolate them from our clean clothes. I also got a pack of antibacterial wet wipes so when we're out and about and my daughter's hands are dirty I can clean them um, and especially because you know when you're on a cruise you're gonna be so close to people that you really want to be able to maintain health as <laughs> much as possible so I'm gonna be very meticulous because I also got um, I'll show you later but I also got an antibacterial um, hand sanitizer um, I also got a small bottle of Tide. I don't really plan on doing laundry, but I got this just in case, um, and I'll pack my own um, dryer sheets, just in case we need to do a quick load of laundry. Um, I also got these lanyards so that we can clip our sale, sign and sale card, sale and sign card, I think that's what it's called. Um, 
she's got a clip um i got one for my husband one for me and then i also got these as well they're like retractable um id card holders so i don't I didn't mean to get these. I meant to take these out of my cart, but you know what? Hey, if we can put them to use, so be it. Um, I also got these small samples of Banana Boat um, sunscreen. I plan on putting these in our carry-on just so um, when we are waiting for our room to be ready, um, we can still have sunscreen in our carry-ons. Um, but I also will be bringing our full-size sunscreen. Um, let me just shift some stuff over here. <clears throat> I also got my husband and I a deck of playing cards just, you know, for when we want to entertain ourselves either in the stateroom or wherever, pretty much. Okay. So we'll move on here to sort of like the medicine slash toiletry items that I got. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was have a lot of medicines and things on me that um, definitely people definitely suggested to have. Um, so this was a six pack of tissues, um, Paw Patrol, because my daughter loves Paw Patrol, so that was a dollar. I got a roll of Ricola cough drops, Ricola. I got a pack of um, daytime cold medicine. It's got acetaminophen, dextromethorphan, mm -hmm. phenylephrine, just nasal decongestant. So yeah, so for your average cold symptoms, it's the Assured brand, which I think is the Dollar Tree brand. So we'll see how it works. I mean, I'm not too crazy about buying name brand things um, because, just, you know, just from my brief medical assisting program uh, schooling, I know that most of these medicines have the same active ingredient. The only thing different is the filler, the fillers that they use to create the actual medicine. So I know that it's going to work the same or it should work the same. Um, so hopefully we don't have to take it, but if I do, I'll definitely let you know how well it helped. I also got a pack of Tums, because you never know, someone can have indigestion. I got triple antibiotic ointment for, you know, cuts and scrapes and things like that. I got my daughter Minion uh, Band-Aids, and she already opened it, as you can see, because she saw the Minion face and was like, ooh, I suddenly have a boo-boo. Um, I also got us a pack of band-aids as well. Um, I don't care. I'll wear the minion ones, but just in case my husband doesn't want to. I got a pack of Tylenol. It's six caplets total, 500 milligrams each. So we have that for pain relief. I also have my own Excedrin, so I didn't buy any because um, I, I like the Excedrin migraine. Um, so I'll just pack some of those. I usually buy the big, huge bottles, so there, I felt there was no need for me to pay for them when I have them at home. Um, and then I have a three pack of hand sanitizer, as I was telling you earlier. So this is again, the Assured brand. <clears throat> and then this I thought was really cool. These are boogie wipes. Um, these are really great. They have natural saline um, and they just help to kind of get, get all those crusties out. You know, when, it's, when your child's either have a runny nose or is sick, um, these really help to break down those um, boogies. And that's pretty much all I got. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I also got um, flushable wipes um, for my daughter. You know, we'll have baby wipes as well because she still has um, pull-ups. She's still in pull-ups. But I figured I got these, you know, if we want to use them or if we want to use them on her, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> so let me show you what I got for myself for my organization. So I got this um, expandable file folder. It's small and it's got different um, slots in here. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use this for quite yet. I was thinking like on the days that we are out, we can put our cards and stuff in there or like I definitely plan on making copies of our birth certificates and things like that. So I was thinking we could put those in there. Um, so I got that. I got a three pack of pens. I got a four pack of highlighters. Um, I've seen several cruisers recommend highlighters so that way you can highlight on the itinerary for the day, the things that you want to do. I also got myself a notebook, you know, for things that I wanna jot down or, you know, for my own self. I like to journal and, you know, 
write songs and poetry and things like that. So if I want to keep busy, I have that. <clears throat> I also got this clear um, pouch for when we're on port and we want to put like, I actually got a from Amazon a passport holder, an important document holder, so I can hopefully throw that in this so it can be somewhat protected from the elements. And the last thing I got for um, stationary things like that is a dry erase board. It's magnetic because the staterooms have magnetic walls, so I can put this up, and if I need to leave a note for the stewardess, I can write it on here. If we need, like, you know, extra towels or anything like that. Oh, I completely forgot this. See? I knew I was missing something. This is goes, you know, in the first aid medicine thing. Um, so this is a cold, reusable cold pack. Um, you can throw it in the freezer or the fridge and it will freeze up so if my daughter gets hurt or something It's like a nice little reusable ice pack Because um, the state rooms in the carnival elation ship all have um, fridges So even if it's not freezing cold, it'll still be pretty chilly or we can pop it in our ice bucket All right moving right along so I actually shift it around to the other side just so I can get to the things that are back here um, moving on with sort of household items, I got um, quart size bags and I also got gallon size bags. Um, I plan on using at least one of the quart size bags for my toiletries and my carry-on because the airplane only allows enough toiletries to fit in the quart size bag. So to make it easy for myself so I know I'm not overpacking, just put them in there. And you also have to pull them out. And I should specify it's actually liquids. So you can only keep liquids, as much liquids as can fit in a quart size bag. For my husband and I, I got us creamer. It's coffee made um, and it's, it doesn't need to be refrigerated until it's opened. This was recommended by a cruiser. So I got him French vanilla, got myself hazelnut. For my daughter, I got her this 2-in-1 Paw Patrol shampoo, and I also got her this um, baby wa body wash, sorry. She's not a baby anymore. <laughs> and then I got us a four-pack of loofahs, just travel, small little travel-sized ones, because um, I, I didn't feel like buying the big bulky ones, felt like it wasn't really necessary. I also got this really big um, bottle of baby powder. Several cruisers have recommended this, not just you know for my daughter if she, in case she has a rash or something, but for your feet when you're on the beach. This is really good to get the sand off because it absorbs all the water so that way the sand just rolls off with the powder. So I got that big one. <clears throat> I also got for myself some little umbrella toothpicks for my drinks when I make in the estate room. The state room. Oh my goodness, For let's play a nice little drinking game. It should, probably should have started at the beginning of the video. You can go back and rewatch. Every time I say a stateroom, take a drink. Oh goodness, because I guarantee you'll be drunk by the end of the video. Um, I also got these uh, little mini margarita cups. Aren't these the cutest thing? There are six of them in there. Um, for when I'm, it's, I got the margarita style, but I you're allowed to bring one bottle of wine per adult on the cruise so um <clears throat> i got those so i can drink my wine and feel a little stylish and i also got these per a cruiser's recommendation because they're good to hold the towels on the chairs and you know when you're out and about and it's a windy day um so they're technically chip clips but you can use them for the towels. So I got three of those. See how they work. I'll let you know. Um, I also got a reusable bag for a dollar. So I figured I can use this when we're going out to the pool or when we're going out on port. And that pretty much wraps it up for our stuff. I'm going to show you my daughter's things that I got for her. Because I got her a lot of different toys and things like that. So stay tuned for that. So there's actually a couple of things um, that I forgot to show. I apologize, I just have so many things to go through. <laughs> I really did a number at Dollar Tree. My friend, she's like, you're buying the whole store. And I'm like, yeah, it happens. At least, you know, in my defense, I saved 
much more money than if I would have gone to Walmart or Target. <clears throat> so I got this air freshener um, thing. It just twists up and it, you know, releases the scent. Um, so just for the stateroom. So, you know, it, obviously we're not stinky people, but, you know, to kind of give it a nice fresh scent. Um, I also got these Paw Patrol yet again. Paw Patrol Q-tips. It's just a tub of them that we can all use um, throughout the cruise. <clears throat> I got my daughter a hairbrush, a princess hairbrush. She also has a, a bristle comb as well. I got myself a hairbrush so that I don't have to take my more expensive hairbrushes with me. Um, although, honestly, I think I'm going to braid my hair, so I don't even think I'll need them, but you never know. I also got myself a pack of hair elastics because, as you know, us women, we go through them all the time. So, got my own pack to take on the cruise. And I also got this assorted pack for my daughter. I thought this was really cool. So, it comes with the hair elastics, the clips that are all nice and glitter, and then some bobby pins as well. She doesn't have, she doesn't have, um, too crazy hair. Um, her hair is long, but it's very curly. So, we're limited on the styles that we can yeah. use with her anyway. So, that will just be there. Oh, and... As I'm talking about things that I forgot, <laughs> I got this children's pain reliever just in case she gets a fever. So again, this is the Assured brand, so I'll let you know how this fares. Um, I do know that at Port they have um, several stops and they also have a medical facility. So I know that if it doesn't work, I can <clears throat> have other options. I may even just take our Motrin as well just to be on the safe side, but we'll see. So this bag right here is actually just things for my daughter. So um, this was a cute little snack pack. Um, you know, so just in case we want to throw some snacks in her. This for the flight over. Um, we can do that. Or if we want to pick up some snacks somewhere. Um, I got her a bunch of sand toys. Again, only a dollar. So look at this. It's a sifter with a rake and a shovel. Then we also have a castle making um, little bucket thing. It makes a little tower. I also got her a nice big bucket and the big bucket also has the shovel handle on the handle. I got her this Paw Patrol puzzle, 24 um, piece puzzle. And there's what the puzzle looks like when it's completed she's very big on puzzles I also got her this cute little um, jug for when we're out and about and she can put drinks in there it's um not Paw Patrol oh my goodness PJ Masks there we go so obviously you see which cartoons my daughter likes a lot um, this was really cool it's like a little uh, two coloring pages um, and they're like glitter and then you just color you fill in certain things like the dinosaurs and stuff like that so I thought that was really cool, maybe for the plane or for when we're in the stateroom. I got her a Paw Patrol coloring set as well. <clears throat> and these are just things to keep her occupied. I obviously don't want to bring her toys with me just in case they get lost. Like, we'll bring a doll and things, but I definitely want to keep what we have from home to a minimum just in case things get lost or damaged. I also got her this Paw Patrol coloring book. It's a big one, so it's got lots of pages for her to go through. You know, she's not at that age right now where she's coloring full pictures. You know, she's kind of scribbling all over the place, but that's okay. I also got her a pack of 36 crayons. Again, because I don't want to take my home crayons. I got her a Minnie Mouse Bubbles. Little jar of bubbles for when we're out. And then I also got some glow sticks. Um, so if we're out, you know, at night or at dusk, we can light up these glow sticks or when we're back in the room to you know, have a little dance party. And then that all was in this Minnie Mouse tote bag. So again, for when we're out at the port um, or when we're going up to the pool, we can throw her beach stuff in here. So that pretty much wraps it up for everything that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, definitely stay tuned for um, future videos because like I said, I'm definitely going to be doing a series um, about our cruise and how we liked it um, and just a little more detail. So we're, we're leaving here in uh, Massachusetts. We're leaving here on the 16th of May. 
were flying into Jacksonville the day before the cruise just so um I didn't want to risk you know us being late to the cruise itself um, because of a missed flight or a delayed flight so <clears throat> we're flying in the day before the cruise uh, debarks de debarks I'm gonna learn all this cruise terminology by the end of this <laughs> it embarks oh no i think it's embarks yeah sorry it embarks on thursday the 17th at 4 p.m from jacksonville um we stop at freeport in nasa and then we spend one day at sea and then we return by 8 a.m on monday so it's a short cruise um it's actually our first family vacation where we're you know going on a plane and going out of the new england area because um, we've been to New Hampshire and things like that, but we haven't really done a true family cruise. I actually haven't been out of the country since like 2001, so this is very exciting for me. So I'll do a couple of packing videos, you know, how I'm packing my things, and then I'll definitely chronicle our experience on the cruise for other families who are thinking of traveling, thinking of cruising, and or traveling with a three-year-old. So you guys can kind of see what that's like and how we... Um, appease her and make sure that she has a good time as well so stay tuned for all of that and thanks for tuning in and if you are going to follow don't forget to subscribe and turn off turn on the notifications button so that way you get alerted every time I post a new video have a nice night guys bye